Oh my god. What was that? That was a pop up. But wait, I'm going to try to fix that because you have probably actually seen this video. And I showed you here how to get Samsung Notes on Windows. And it is working. And yeah, this is starting up every single time with your computer. So let's turn it off very simply. I ain't gonna waste your time. Let's go and right click here on the Windows icon. After doing this, click on Task Manager. Right now, click on Start Up Apps. And right here, we have Galaxy Bookmask. Let's turn it off. Disable. There you go. The next step, very easily, Windows key and then R, which will open this and then type shell and then columns startup by the way it's also in the description and while you're there consider subscribing please and with continue watching you can actually watch this video right here to get samsung notes on windows for free so right here just press enter very simply and after doing this a folder will pop up like this make sure that this folder is clean from galaxy book mask and after doing this it should be fine if you restart the computer you shouldn't see the pop-up anymore the reason why this happened is because you chose the normal book mask bat file instead of the no startup file and i completely understand that that's what i also would do if i would use samsung note so many times and i don't want to keep this on my computer well on the website itself if you scroll down right here they actually also have multiple options they have startup version non-startup version and direct launch version a direct launch version that launches Samsung Note after editing the registry and then restores the registry after the app has been launched. It's more like a shortcut to Samsung Note contributed by this. So that means you're still going to have a shortcut on your computer, which you need. So what I recommend you do is just keep to the startup version. You can easily disable it. Right here is how to install Samsung Notes, but that's with Winget. You can easily get it in a Samsung, I mean, Microsoft Store, just like this. There you go, Windows 11 just has Samsung Notes. If you go to the releases, so this page right here, which is on the right side, you can actually download both files right here and also the direct launch pad. I recommend you keep to the startup and I know it's a little bit scary, but it's nothing dangerous. I just showed you how to turn it off because if you do this, you can use Samsung Note without any problems. So to undo the changes officially, you have to go to that startup folder, which I showed you and you have already locked there. So that is this one. And right here, there's actually nothing. So that's clean. Right here, we also have the changes with Reggie did, which you can also change, but it is not needed. I hope this resolved your questions we had on this video. I'm going to click on this and then we can see all comments. So I'm pretty much responding to this comment and every single other comment. And yeah, uh, please comment down below. We will react. Um, yeah, I try to help you guys. You can also just use this one if you don't like that file starting up. But it means you have to keep it somewhere like on your desktop. So open it every single time you open Samsung Notes. I will see you in the next one. I want to thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.